It was fun because we get to be rotten to each other. And to be the age that we are. Yeah. And to have Wait a, minute. a clever story written for us. Older folk? Yeah. yeah. Well, not older folk, but like we don't have the same love issues that 20 somethings and 30 somethings have. I had to work with her quick because she's not young anymore. <laughs> and I really was. And I'm aging as we stand here. Yes. Yeah. It'd be one thing to like do a movie with one of them, but then two of them in one movie is a lot. Yeah. It's a lot, but in the best way. Well, they've been quite amazing. They're providing a great performances and they have a bright future ahead of them. Yeah. Damn bad. Damn bad. This is what we have to deal with on a daily basis. <laughs> I went for lunch with Sarah Harvey, the producer who pitched the story to me. She said a friend of hers had recently gone through something very similar. Their child had wanted to marry someone. And as she was talking, I was like, I know what this is. I know how it should go. And it should star George and Julia. Because they're just so extraordinary. When Ol was writing the movie, he wrote it specifically for George and Julia in his mind. Now, very, very, very rarely in terms of putting movies together do you write a movie for two of the most famous movie stars in the world and they agree to do it. When we pitched it to the studio, I said it should be a couple that we've already recognized as a couple. And so it was always George and Julia. Literally in the first draft, the two characters were called Julius and Georgia. I sent them both the scripts going, this is for you. Once we got a hold of All's great script, we both yeah, were like, we thought we should do it. let's go. Yeah, we thought we should do it. Yeah. I had no plan B, and thankfully they said yes. It's a good thing it's not a competition. It's a good thing. The opposite to love isn't hate, it's indifference. And so George and Julia's characters, they're always at each other. It's still passion. Whereas when passion dies, then that's when you really don't love someone anymore. You want to be with someone that makes you your best self. And clearly George and Julia are their best selves around each other. And cutting there, thank you. <laughs> George and Julia, although they've only done a couple of movies, it feels like they've done many, many movies together. And we wanted this film to feel like a sequel to something that you might have seen 20 or 25 years ago. <laughs> because they know each other so well, they're very easy in each other's company, they're very entertaining together, and it's a very jovial relationship between the two of them. We were able to harness that very much for the movie, and I think that energy comes through in the film. I encourage them both to improvise and be loose and free, which you don't need to encourage them to do. They'll do it anyway. And so there were whole days where I was just thinking, am I directing this movie or am I just a passenger? Because they're so good. They so know what they're doing. Get ready, and... <laughs> There's a scene in it where they dance like they did when they were at college. And it's very easy to just have the sense that they were at college together. And I'm not sure you've seen either of them be that loose and be that free on screen. And so that was the most fun night of my life, shooting that and watching those guys go for it. There's a lot of times when I blow a take by laughing. You can hear me laughing at the monastery. You know, you try and be professional, but yeah, I'm smothering my laughter all the time. <laughs> You can just really feel the love that they have as people. And just to watch the two of them be best friends in real life, they just love each other so much. I just got bit by a fly. That's what I'm going to oh, be taking from. Oh, that fly is from, so yeah. brutal. It's right there. Hang on, I got it. Ah! He's a killer, this thing. Hang on. I got it, I got it, I got it. Ah! Got him. Wow. <gasps> Did you get it on camera? George Clooney. Yeah. But that bit me hard. I know it did. Thank you, George. You're welcome. Hmm. You can write the best scripts and you can try and put it in nice places and hopefully point the camera in the right direction. But in the end, it's going to stand or fall on the chemistry of the two leads. George and Julia love to laugh together, and so it's just a gift for me. You just turn the camera on and get out of the way. Mm -hmm.